open us up in prayer. So if everybody would stand. Heavenly Father, I just thank you again for this day. I thank you for the chance to be here, Lord, and in the position to uh, to serve you through our citizens and, and represent them, God. And um, I just ask that you bring peace to our city and that um, all our departments will continue to work well with each other. And Lord, that we just honor you in all that we do. Uh, thank you for my fellow councilmen and um, just lead and guide us and help us know that we represent you. Amen. Place flag, attention, salute, flag. Our pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Again, I'd like to welcome everybody out to our council meeting today. Uh, has everybody had a chance to view the minutes from the previous meeting? Motion to adopt. Okay, we got a motion and a second for uh, minutes. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carried. Okay, moving on in with our uh, agenda. We have the Fort Payne High School Best Robotics team. Uh, they wish to address the council for a thousand dollar appropriation. So at this time, if y'all have a spokesperson. Did you bring a robot? <laughs> okay. <laughs>
transportation and community outreach. In the South, that's the competition. We, we definitely learned a lot on how to better prepare for this. We appreciate y'all coming down, and uh, I just appreciate the job that y'all do. And uh, I think the robotics team is is amazing. Uh, what I've seen of it, and uh, I, I fully support whatever we're allowed to do. Well, I think last year we did support last year, and I'd like a motion we do it again this time. I don't think we can say no. Yeah, that's, that is, uh, we, we appreciate what y'all do. We had a motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Special appropriations. Yes. Motion carried. So we will be uh, doing an appropriation for $1,000 to the robotics team. I'd love for you to come back and show us how, how you did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Follow up with us. We would love to see a, a, ro a robot demonstration that y'all put together. <laughs> That would be neat. So you have to clear your brush. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving right on to our committee reports. Does any of our committees have a report? I know we're uh, meeting Thursday at the Parks and Rec for our Christmas in the Park uh, organizational meeting. So um, we'll be, I mean, it's, here it is, the 1st of October, Christmas will be here before we turn around good. So. Well, and, uh, and I don't know if we've mentioned this, and I apologize if we have, but they're also doing something for the uh, Halloween block party in the park, so uh, to add to that, so that's exciting as well. Yeah, if you've never been part of the Halloween block party, I encourage you to come down. It's going to be bigger and better with the, uh, they're going to have, I think, some type of a, a maze in the um, city park. So it, it should be fun for the kids and adults as well. Anybody else? Ron? I just want to remind everybody this is October's Attorney Attention and Fire Prevention Month. Check your smoke detectors. Anybody that needs them, we still have that program going on where we come out and install the smoke detectors for individuals that need them. And uh, we try to do it for people that like the elderly and small children to start with and then we'll work our way out from that. They're donated from the Alabama Fire, fire Dollars through uh, it's an unnamed donor that, that promotes this. So that's we got that going on still. We need to get the word out better for that. And also we're doing the Fort Clean Fire Department t-shirts again for breast cancer awareness this month. And they're available at Station 2 Fire Hall and they're $15 a piece. So that's interested in that. Yep. Yeah, pink too, don't you? And some fire. No, this is, this is That's the only one. Change your batteries and your smoke detector. Where the t-shirts are placed? It's station two fire downtown. Everybody needs to go get them a t-shirt. Uh, support the uh, the fire department and their calls for breast cancer. Anybody else? Okay. Moving right along to new business. Uh, we had some discussion prior about the uh, the cost of the tennis courts at the Fort Payne High School uh, and and I believe we had talked that we would uh, try to share that cost with the school system uh, the school is has agreed to pay half of that cost uh, and I think uh, I think we should pick up that other cost and get those tennis courts the bids came in a lot better than we anticipated the total bids with the exception of what, what Tim will do in the house, he came in at 428 or 45, or our, our portion would be approximately 214. I think so it's a great project, project for us to get involved in. Red and I talked about it this morning. You know, we, we spent a lot of money on design and stuff and got a projected cost of a million dollars. And if we can do virtually the same thing on the school property for 200 something thousand dollars, that's a no brainer. So, and, I, and, and 
and for the public that, that don't know what we're talking about, this is not just repurposing what we have. This is also building four additional right. new courts. This gives us eight courts. So need to clarify that, you know, with the public that don't that not really aware of what right. we're talking. About. Yeah, this is, there's four courts there that'll be refurbished, four new courts added, so that'll give the tennis team the ability to have tournaments right. here, so. Yeah. That's and that was our goal in the beginning, was to get those uh, tennis courts to where they could have tournaments here, right. and, and, and our tennis team, you know, be able to operate like they need to operate. I'm making a motion to. Sorry. Okay, we got a motion and a second to uh, pay half of the cost of the new new and refurbished tennis courts at the high school property. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carried. And you go work with Mr. Jeff about the time, the time right on? Right, I'll get with him with Mr. Cunningham tomorrow. I'll get a schedule started. Good deal. Okay, next we've got several residents on Marlowe Street in North Fort Payne that have requested a street light to be placed at the intersection of Marlowe Street Northeast and Martin Avenue. Motion to approve. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. That, that is to uh, have a street light put at the intersection of Marlowe and, and Martin. Okay, our activities permit. We have two activities permit for the Fort Payne Chamber of Commerce. One is the block party that we uh, have already mentioned. That will be Thursday, October 31st uh, from Galt Avenue to first, uh, on 1st Street to 5th Street North from 5 o'clock till 7 p.m. And also the uh, annual Christmas parade, which will be on Monday night, December the 9th, from 18th Street North to 3rd Street South. That'll be from 6 to 8 p.m. Okay, we'll do both, please. One motion, motion to approve both. And we got a motion and a second to approve the activity permits for the Fort Payne Chamber of Commerce for the block party and the Christmas parade. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Randy? I have one more too, and I don't know if I didn't get it back to Andy or we just didn't get it on the agenda. A young lady uh, is requesting to use the pavilion on October the 19th for a benefit ride. Uh, some folks here in Fort Payne, I think a husband and wife are, are donating one to the other a kidney, and they want to have a benefit ride, I think, at the pavilion. Did you get that back? Mm -hmm. Okay. It was on my desk, and I thought I sent it back to you, but it's October the 19th. Okay. And we got a motion and a second to approve this other activity permit. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Two, two, motion carried. All right. Uh, that looks like all we've got on the agenda. Uh, mayor is not here today. He is out of town. Uh, does anybody in the audience have anything? I, I just want to commend the city on a job well done. Whenever we have an event like the Boone Days where they bring in tons of people and events and things like that, the next morning the city is so clean you would never have known anything had happened. And it's like that all the time. And that's, I think, an, that's an amazing thing to me. Um, and so I would just like to commend you to all those people who helped to pull that together so that the city the next morning just looks like it's back to normal. So, good job. Thank you. Thank you. That is definitely a team effort. Uh, it couldn't be done by one individual, and uh, that uh, that is a testament of, of what kind of good city workers that we do have here in Fort Payne. It is a great, uh, great place to be. I'd like to add to that, thanks to all the city employees yes. and volunteers that, that helped with this. Yes. It went off, and uh, it was great. I think it was one of our biggest, biggest crowds that we've had for the evening concert. Uh, I think everybody did just above and beyond uh, the call of duty on, on, on there that night. Anyone else? 
Got a motion to adjourn. All in favor, say well, yes. Before we adjourn, I'd like for Brian Bain to stand up, and we're going to sing happy birthday to him. <laughs> Brian's 50th birthday. Yes, 39 and holding. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brian. Happy birthday to you. I'm hoping Brian isn't going to be on the for me. Turning 50 is not so bad. It, it's better than the alternative. I do want to say I appreciate everybody that came out Saturday night to the uh, surprise birthday party. I had no idea uh, the folks that put that together. I, uh, th and that's hard to do to, to get a surprise on me. So they, they accomplished something that not many people have ever accomplished. So I appreciate it. Appreciate everybody that was able to come out and, and be part of it. So we're done. Thank you guys for coming, being part of uh, our